Hello! Hi and welcome to some more XCOM 2 with me, the Zero. Ah, Alright, let's go back into our game. So, last time we dealt with a... Um, sort of a... Disabled UFO and we got tons of stuff from it and we have a huge supply drop of like 600 supplies waiting for us. And we really need those supplies because we need to upgrade like our power systems, we need to upgrade our communication system, we need to upgrade a lot of things. And I'm looking forward to getting all that stuff so that we can upgrade it. Um, but yeah, so the plan remains the same. We're going to get the supplies. Then we're going to try to start expanding towards towards Asia. Because we need to be able to take those missions uh, to reduce the Avatar project and, and keep the game going forward. So yeah, let's see what we got. As soon as the game goes, there we go. Okay, we are still being hunted by that stupid UFO, which is really annoying. Okay, let's get those supplies though. Oh my God! I am sure you will find. Ooh, sectopod breakdown. What do we get from that? As I do, Commander. Central Gremlin Mark III. One of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's make a gatekeeper this autopsy. This specimen, henceforth referred to as the gatekeeper, seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. Ugh. It's just like a giant brain or something. It's disgusting. Okay, um, how much for the, the new gremlins? Questionable experiments involving human captives at the black site we raided with the help of local seriously only 75 what we did find holy crap yes please reprehensible than I could have possibly imagined a facility solely dedicated to the rendering and refinement of human genetic yeah, we material know about that Tigan that's what industrial scale the alien what can I do for you commander all right let's get more supplies skull mining yes okay so now having the um, the the skull jack is gonna make hacking better. So we'll definitely always want to have the skull jack on our specialist. Plus we might want to skull jack officers every now and then. Uh, a rate sooth. That's for psionics, and we have the war suit. Defensive field. Let's start with the rate suit, and we'll definitely have a. A war suit afterwards, so let's just do it. I, I want to see what they are. I want to see what they are, what they do, what's their power, what we can use them for. So, okay. Give me those supplies. I am spending the, the supplies as fast as I'm getting them right now. Oh! Psionic training complete. Void Rift, okay. Alright, let's go see what kind of training we can give her. Okay, so this is, um, okay, if we give Purple Man, can he get Void Rift? Yeah, let's give Purple Man the Void Rift. That is, we need Void Rift on, on Psy Operative. That is, like, absolutely necessary, in my opinion. It's one of their better ability. Okay, we got everything from this supply drop. Right. Now, oh, we made contact already. How is the, how's our intel? 16. So we don't really have enough intel to make contact down here, sadly. Which would be, would have been really good. Any way to gain any intel right now? We have alien alloys, but we have 275. We don't really need alien alloys. Now, that's the only thing going on on the map right now. Uh, making another antenna in North America would give us future combat but I'm not too impressed with that pursuit of knowledge research speed by 20% we have all done, almost done all the research to be honest so what's the bonus for uh, Asia plus five to Avenger power oh that would be good actually that's like a free engineer 
And what about Oceanius? Spare part. All proving ground project costs reduced by 50%. Eh. Okay, but we got the the important stuff is the, the, the one here we get, which is the black market. And all in, I think, are the two most important ones. Uh, I would like to get future combat, because we haven't bought all those things just yet. But uh, we're probably going to go do that black site mission. We need to spend all of our money right now, though. Okay, so 37 of 39. I want a second Scilab slot. I, I want it, and I want it now. So we can upgrade this for 150 supplies. It's super expensive. Power relay upgraded. Uh, you can still only have two engineers in there. Okay. But now we have 45, which is good. So now we can definitely... Upgrade the shadow chamber. Oh, 225. That is really expensive. What are our other options? Creating the laboratory? Like I said, I don't really need to because we've already done most of the research. On this difficulty level, the research goes by pretty fast. Defense warfare, power relay, resistance comms. I can't really upgrade any more the resistance comms. That's kind of annoying to me. I'm gonna need a second resistance comms. The shadow chamber needs to be upgraded for us to do any more research, and that's 200 power, or 200 supplies. But I, I'm gonna go for a psionics right now. I want more psionics, and having the double, Silence double ability upgraded. to train people here is gonna really give us that. Okay, so immune to fire, poison, acid, and explosive damage. Grant a bonus action immediately to a nearby squad mate. That that can be quite powerful. Let's let's train that. Yep, very good. All right, so we have two people training right now in the Psylabs. and we have 165. Hey, Jack Notch! <laughs> oh no, 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 we we they can't raid us because we we're already spending it all. We're already there. There's only 165 left. We had like 600 that we just picked up, and we're spending it. We're spending all of it. Um, defense matrix, shadow chamber. Now we're at 42 out of 45, so I have three power available. We can't upgrade the shadow chamber. That's too expensive. We can upgrade the laboratory, but I don't really want to. How much for a new? There's another. Power. How much for a new uh, resistance com? 110, and that would take three power. That would be good. That would be good. Resistance comms is an option. The other option is to build. Oh, I have upgraded the power relay uh, already with a lot of our money. The other option would be either the beam pistol. Uh, proximity mines, you know, they could be useful. I I think I'm going to start building the resistance comms cuz it's going to take 16 days and I don't really have an engineer to, to spare right now so doing this Resistance communications facility construction this will let us initiated. potentially expand some more uh, we do have Ingrid over here in the end for advanced warfare so do we still have a wounded soldier we do three days for goo sense that's all right that is quite all right Right, okay, well, let's move on. Uh, no, your clone is not here yet, Jack Notch. I want to give a chance to um, other people who haven't been part of the project first to get to get their go and die before I bring back someone else. Just because this isn't long war, you don't go through as many soldier, which is a bit... I mean, it's different gameplay. I kind of prefer the long war way where, you know, you have fatigue and you have to handle your roster and... When a long war mod, I'm sure a long war mod is gonna come out for XCOM 2. And when that mod comes out, I'm definitely gonna play it and, you know, have 
to rotate people in and out with fatigue and stuff like that because I find that more interesting and more realistic than having the same six people go on every mission all the time. That's my opinion. Okay, in that case... I mean... We can't make contact. We can go get some intel, but we might as well just go do this mission here. The Black Sight Vile Coordinate. Oh my! 14 enemies! And we'd get a bunch of supplies. That is a tough one. They got Andromedon, Sectoid, Sectopod, Elite Officer, Elite Trooper, Archon, Elite Lancer, Heavy Max, and Codex. So heavy on the Max on this one. Fourteen enemies. That is a tough one. That's not a. That's not an easy mission. That's not an easy mission at all, man. Um. I mean, we can go now. The only person we'll be missing is Goose Sense, but we can put. Uh, but oh no, Bazaxabil. Bazaxabil is dead. Isn't oh. Yeah. Oh, that's bad. No, I can't. If I'm going on that mission, I'm going to need to bring everything I've got, all my most powerful people. I'd be in Kaylee, Socrates, the Zero, Baby J. We'd be bringing Eldriel, Goose Sense. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, we need Goose Sense. We need to wait for Goose Hands for that mission. Because that mission is, is too hard for us to, to train up rookies. <laughs> yeah. Freaking Andromedons, man. Uh, so, in that case, I can either get Alien Alloys, which I don't really need, or let's just go scan uh, for intel, really. Let's just go gain up some intel. Setting course for South Africa. We could also sell some... Oh, oh, that might not have been the best idea to come here right now. What have we got available? Eh. Not interested. Um, let's, let's not stay here while the UFO is clearly around here. Let's go to the black market first. We can sell a bunch of our stuff and perhaps we're going to get... Market Enough supplies to build other thing. Can we buy anything? No. No, we can't buy anything. But we might be able to sell stuff. Uh, I'm not selling that. Archon corpses. They're very interested. Alien alloys. Illyrium crystals. Uh, they're only interested. They're not interested in many things right now. But, uh... Yes, let's sell those. Archon corpses. Are those used for anything? Is there anything we want to get that uses Archon corpses? No. No. Nothing here. Archon corpses. No Archon corpses. So we don't need Archon corpses for anything, really. Let's just sell them. Seriously. Why not? Yeah, radio towers, but we need supplies for those. Um, a radio tower in, like, East Asia would be really good because it would reduce the cost of New Indonesia. And uh, that, would, that is a, quite a good idea, actually. All right, let's sell... Let's sell those... Let's sell all of them. Uh... Anything else I want to sell? Could sell some Uton corpses. Let's just let's just sell a bunch of things. Cause we don't need this many corpses. Like they're just stinking up the place. We'll keep the gatekeeper shell just in case, though. Berserker. We didn't kill many Berserkers and we only have one corpse. 
We can also sell one of our flashbang grenades. We're not really taking them with us anymore. And we don't we don't really have to, but 250 bucks is pretty good. Uh, we can use that to uh, go upgrade some more of our weapons, which I would like to do. We can get... Oh, I think we can get both of them. Let's get the blade, then let's get the pistol. Yeah, there we go, we got all the guns. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Okay. All right, uh, we don't have any more supplies though, whatsoever. So let's go scan for Intel. Uh, he's still there. I mean... Am I that scared of that UFO? I'm a little bit scared of that UFO. We do have a really good team to deal with it though, and we have tons of recruits. You know what? If the UFO catches us, we'll deal with it. But oh, I think the UFO's gone. Nope. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> look at me! Oh, look at me talking, being like, whatever, I don't care. Okay, I do care. Oh, did we evade it? I think we evaded it. Yeah, the, the defense matrix is active right now. It's fully powered. Holy crap, this takes a long time. Game? Oh no, no, they got us. Alright, well, UFO defense mission, everyone! A chance for all those rookies to get to have some promotions! I may have really accepting the transfer. Oh, ready. The system is overriding my command. Shit! Right. I think I messed up. This could go wrong. This could go really wrong. Emergency power online. Someone get me a damage report. This could We've got a problem. Only one? They've just dropped some sort of spike outside. It's generating the same type of pulse that knocked us out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can <laughs> Oopsie, us? guys! I'm I messed up. I'm sorry, my bad. I got this ship way. taken down by a spike UFO. Is our only chance of getting out of here. Can't let the aliens take this ship. Okay. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. Commander, we can't afford to let this operation get away from us. Okay. Even if it means sending our wounded forces back into combat, we have to succeed at all costs. Okay, let's let's choose who we send out first. Okay. Okay, for um <laughs> uh <laughs> whoops. Okay, we're gonna need the zero. Socrates is not gonna be as useful, but Socrates is pretty powerful, so we're gonna bring Socrates. We're definitely bringing Kaylee. We're definitely bringing Baby J. And we're gonna be bringing um, Eldriel. And I guess we're gonna be bringing Jack and Panda V2. There's gonna be a lot of robotic enemies, is what I'm expecting. Yeah. My bad, guys. <laughs> that is totally my fault. That is 100% my fault. Okay, you don't get the EMP grenade. You just bring a um, just bring a plasma grenade. Uh, Kaylee, get the skull jack. It should also improve our hacking ability, right? Is that what I'm... Yeah. It gives plus 15, which is pretty good, actually. Uh, so, yeah, d do bring that skull jack, And we're going to need a lot of grenades. Maybe even stasis vests. 
Everyone else is just gonna be bring a grenade. Basically, when they come in. So, we're gonna have tons of grenade. We need to give the good stuff to our good guys. Uh, let's give Kaylee the status vest, I guess. Okay, let's make items available. Make armor available. Yes, okay. Um, right, Socrats. Why don't you put on the exosuit? That way you have a rocket launcher instead of a grenade, and we can actually give you a shredder gun. Yeah, okay, that's good in my opinion. The zero, you won't need the the spider suit because we won't be able to take any height advantage. So get that warden armor. Blue screen rounds are definitely a good idea, and other than that, let's give you like a nanoscale vest to make sure you don't die. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be bringing any flashbangs. Flashbangs are only really useful against sectoid, I find. Uh, the Mimic Beacon might be useful in this case if we're in trouble. Yeah, if we get in trouble, I definitely want to have that Mimic Beacon. Um, Eldriel, bring the rocket launcher. Here I want the EMP bomb, and then the acid bomb. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we have two incendiary bombs as well. Jacket Panda V2 is definitely going to be bringing one of the incendiary bombs. We do have Gremlins Mark III as well. And, oh my god, uh, let's give you dragon rounds. Let's give Baby J, uh, that healing kit might save our life. Instead of the mimic beacon, let's give him the AP rounds. Medikit. Then Kaylee. Kaylee's gonna be bringing the Mimic Beacon. The Mimic Beacon could save our life. Oh my. This is a... This is a scary... I should not have done this. I, I, I really messed up here. I'm, I'm really regretting my actions. I was like, let them come, but uh, now I'm not so sure. But I, I... I mean, this group of people, they can handle anything. So... The Zero, Socrates, Kaylee, Baby J, Algeral, and Jacket Panda V2. It's Operation Ma Magic Feast. Mmm. Magic Feast. Well, let's get out of there. Uh, ooh, just one, one more second. Is everyone weapon fully equipped? Yeah, everyone's weapon, I think, is fully equipped. Alright, well then, let's, let's go. I, I... Yeah, that, that, that may have been a mistake. I know how bad this mission can get, and I got it really early on before. Now it's a lot later. Oh my god, okay. Well... This is gonna be interesting. Hey, see monkey! One five, situation critical. Primary events are offline and hostiles are moving to engage. Yeah! Oh! What was that? Can you show me those enemies again? Oh! Hi there! We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of advent transports are inbound on our position, and they've got battleships in tow. Oh, look at all these turrets we got, though. We have to get the ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. Yeah! Maybe I screwed up here. Maybe. Alright, let's bring... <laughs> Maybe I'm considering the, the potential that I screwed up here. 
Uh, we're not rushed, but they're gonna get reinforcement that get worse and worse every turn. So, we do have that to take into consideration. Um, getting the zero into a nice central position, like right here, man, moving out there would activate these guys. And I'd rather not activate them right this turn because we're out of position. So, let's take... Like this position, and in this position, and then we can take that position. Oh, we activated. Did we? Did we activate? We activated. Oh crap! <laughs> oh great! Well. That's sort of what I was trying to avoid, but looks like the aliens had different plans. But we get our turrets. Do we? Oh, turrets? Yeah, our turrets are activated. Can you give me back? Are you gonna really take 30 seconds on every turret game? I really need. To, okay, okay. They had to make sure we really saw the turrets. Okay, in that case, uh, Socrates is still hidden. And we can move into a hidden position. Sort of right... What would be the most useful one? Probably right here. En marcha a las coordenadas designadas. Yeah! What a great start. Alright, let's move Baby J in here. Now... That Andromedon is a problem. Because he can just really blow us up. So, what have we got? We've got an acid bomb. Which does not blow up cover. Do we have anything that blows up cover? We do, and it's on Jacket Panda V2. We can... Oh my, these things are immune to fire, though. Oh my. Yeah, um... We have a rocket launcher. I think we're gonna start with the rocket launcher right here. Don't even know what hit him. And that blew up our own cover. This thing might split in two. Yes, it will. And on a perfect flanking position, look at that. Isn't that... Isn't that just beautiful? Okay, um... Right! Yeah, um... This is not good. Does Hero can kill this thing with his pistol? That's a good start. with the pistol, the zero, my god. Okay, um, now the Andromedon is really, really what we would like to kill at this point. So, uh, let's focus it down. We're gonna go rapid fire on the Andromedon with Socrates, because, oh my god. That is bad news. Okay, but that is good news. It's still got one hit point, which is the most annoying amount of hit points it could have right now. Yeah, literally the most annoying amount of hit points. Uh, I don't know how to deal with this, this thing there. We might have to combat protocol her with Kaylee because that thing is flanking us. So that means we need to kill this. How? Oh, I got the turrets! I control them? 
You're kidding me, right? That makes things so much easier. Ow! Oh, beautiful. Okay, you give me the turrets. Oh my god. Okay, I control the turrets. I thought they were just overwatching turrets. No, 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 no. Okay, well then... How about you shoot at that Andromedon? That would be perfect. Because then... Uh, acid won't hurt an Andromedon, sadly. They're immune to that stuff. Then Baby J can definitely just hail of bullet the Andromedon. He's got the the blue shells, right? I oh, know he's got AP rounds. Who's got the blue shells? Okay, well, look, we have turrets. Let's use the turrets. 85%. Very good. Yeah, let's use the turrets, because... They're free. They're free to use. Just kill that thing. Like, let's not screw around. The, the, the turrets get to fire twice? You're, you're kidding me, right? This is insane. These turrets are freaking insane. Oh, that was cool dodging. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I put these turrets up with, like, superpowers, because they're really useful. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. Literally the worst. Those things are literally the worst. Um... Okay, so we got a <laughs> bunch more to deal with. Okay, Baby J, what have you got? You got a 71, you got a 63. Do you have a stock? Anyone's got a stock? You have a stock, so you can shoot at the thing with one... Uh, you also have... Let's, let's use the turrets first. Can we use the turrets first? Let's, let's make sure we expand all of the turrets potential before before we do anything too drastic. My god, these turrets. That turret fired twice already, okay. I'm right, gonna 65. Thank you, turrets! My... I... Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's why I have the defense matrix. Indeed. These, these are absolute lifesavers right now. Okay, so we got one more to kill. Does Baby J have a shot? Baby J does not have a shot. Uh, we may... Does Baby J have a combat protocol? Baby J does have a combat protocol on it. So we got one more shot here, potentially with uh, Jacket Panda V2. And that might kill it. Let, let's try it. Nope. Just did one damage. Alright, then we're gonna have combat protocol. Oh. Well, then. Well, Baby J's got a shot now. So let's combat protocol the other one. As we had planned. That also can activate, but in this spot it seems pretty safe. There we go. And then we're gonna use Baby J's guaranteed kill on the other one. To save up on... Uh... Yeah, let's guarantee kill this thing. Okay! Uh, that's a really eventful first turn. There you go. And then this heavy turret's gonna go on Overwatch. Oh well, look at that. Straight up. No time for a break. We already got some more.
Hey, if they're gonna want to walk right into us, that's not the worst thing that can happen here. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in from the Avengers reserves. Yeah, and we get reinforcements. Who do we get? Stephen Horn. Stephen Horn, you need to get some kills. Um. Right. So getting rid of these guys' cover is priority probably number one here. And I don't know how I'm going to do that. I mean, Kaylee can flank them. What you got? You got a grenade, huh? How about Stephen Horn? Oh my god, this is a bit dangerous though. Stephen Horn, why don't you come over here? Moving to designated coordinates. And why don't you grenade this guy? Let's get rid of his cover. He's the most dangerous one. It shreds him. He's out of cover. That's pretty good. Now, Baby J's got a... Oh, it doesn't have a shot. But we can move forward into a position where we would have a shot. The Zero doesn't have a shot. Oh, my. Kaylee's got a shot. But I want to keep the specialist for the second stage of that thing. So let's... Um... Any turrets over here have a shot? This turret has a shot. 75%. Nice shot. Okay. Now, to kill that thing... percent we can get a bit closer with Socrats in which case we have an 82 percent for the first stage anyway okay hey that thing's gonna come back yeah Blanco eliminado but it's coming back um then Kaylee's got a nice 85%. How do we deal with this guy though? That is my biggest issue. Kaylee. You can move. So I'd like to use people from this side to deal with that thing. Someone like, uh, well, there's this turret. That can give us another nice shot. Very nice. And then... Someone like... Eldriel could finish it? Potentially? 76%? Good job, Eldriel. Okay. Now, how do we deal with the Lancer over there? He's gonna run at us. We're gonna have some overwatches. So, how about we use our turrets? Wow, 35, huh? But that would just straight up kill him. Well, problem solved, guys. Okay. Problem solved. Alright, let's, uh... Move... Not too much forward. Let's take a one turn break, if you will. Uh, Baby J can reload. So we've been under constant ready? assault so far. So we're gonna just overwatch. Um, you have both of your actions. You're gonna reload and overwatch. And then next turn, we're gonna start moving forwards again. Man, those heavy turret. They really, really make a big difference. I was super scared, now I'm like, eh, you know what, we can probably do this. Holy crap. Already? My god! These guys are just throwing themselves at us. I'm fine with that. That works a lot better for me. If they keep activating on their own turn, that's free overwatches, and then we can they don't get to shoot at us. Look at that thing, it's just gonna die. Instantly. And the sectoid. I mean... 
He's dodging everything right now, but... Yeah, we could we could probably do this, guys. A battle frenzy, but they're gonna start sending the reinforcements. Though the reinforcements are gonna be really annoying, but I haven't seen them yet. Now Jack and Panda V2's got a guaranteed kill on this guy, so we're gonna take it. And those stocks, they can be really useful. Okay. Now we have to deal with the sectoid. No shots from the zero still. That is really annoying me. Uh, Kaylee's got a flanking shot. Oh, this guy's out in the open. Alright, um. Stephen Horn. Move to a good position. position and you try to get that kill. Oh crap. Okay. Shouldn't have moved forward. It's alright. It's alright, guys. Alright, Stephen Horn, 64. Well, that's the best you can do, so let's try it. Nice shot! Okay. Now, we do have more guys that decide to show up, which is not the best. Um, the Zero still doesn't have a shot? What the hell? It's this tree. This tree is really blocking our sight. Uh, I need to move the zero to somewhere where he's gonna have a shot in the future. So let's just move one tile over here. And suddenly we have all the shots in the world. Okay, that's good. Alright, turrets. Any shots from our turrets? We do have a 50% right here. Didn't do anything. Got rid of some of the cover. And one of these guys is on... Overwatch right now, huh? Alright, let's shoot it again. There we go. Some damage. Oh, I see some more right next to the right next to the thing. Okay. Um Right. Baby J. Ripcord, uh Kaylee here can try to haywire. What's our what's our chances to disable that thing? Because that's the one scary one right now, on the field, really. That may have activated more, though. 100% chance to disable it. We're gonna take that. Let's just disable it. Now, we've been able to take it under control, but... In that case, now we can move. Now we can deal with the other guys. Uh, is the stream lagging? Oh my god, yes, the stream is lagging. Alright guys, uh, give me one second, I'm gonna try to fix the, the stream right now. Okay, sorry about the small interruption, uh, I was having some trouble with the Twitch stream. Okay, where were we? What were we doing? Okay, we got these three guys, this thing's disabled. So now we only really need to deal with the... Was that an advanced trooper and a shield bearer? One of the shield bearers is almost dead. Which is great news, to be honest. Great, great news. Uh, Kaylee has made her action. Baby J could move to here. And that could flank this guy. It might also reveal more. That's always a thing that could happen. Uh, this guy here is going to be the bigger problem in, in our case. So how do we deal with him? What can we bring to the table? To deal with this guy. We have Firebug. Eldrill, do you have a stock? You do have a stock, and I think your stock does two or three damage. So how about this? Socrates, give up your spot. Give up your spot to uh Eldrill. Algeol, get over here. Now, you can shoot this guy, and because you have a stuck, it should guarantee two damage. Or you can hit him and kill him. That also worked for me, Algeol. That works for me. Impressed yet? Pretty impressed, yeah. I'll have to admit. 
then we can bring Baby J over here. I hope it's worth it. And take that flanking shot for 77%. That's a miss. That's not does not make me happy. Uh, we have Socrates with a 70. There we go. Dealt with. Okay. Now we still have that guy to deal with next turn, but that's a problem for next turn me. And next turn me. Next turn me's got so many more options that. Um, I don't really mind giving problems to next turn to me. Yeah, it's still shut down, but it's gonna reopen in a second. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements in. More reinforcement, that's always good. But they get reinforcements as well. Situation just got worse. Resistance outposts are reporting enemy transports on the move across this region. That was expected. That was completely expected. Now, Baby J, if he can hit, can bypass this guy's armor. But maybe we want to put Baby J into better cover first. Somewhere like over here. We need to secure the area and move slowly, really. 72%. Yep, he's got the shots that bypass armor. That's really good. Okay, that thing is already on low health. Now, Socrates is out of ammo. Stephen World could potentially kill it if he can hit. So, why don't you try that? Move you to this cover over here. And take a 48%. It's not very likely, but it might happen. Wow, Stephen Harm was like, I was waiting for you to give me a chance, Commander, this whole time. I've been training, I've been doing exercises, now you gave me a chance and I'm going to show you that I can do it. Alright, reinforcements incoming, so we're going to want to overwatch. Uh, we're going to want to reload with those who can. And overwatch, I want to move slowly, we, we have enough firepower here that we can definitely afford to deal with the reinforcements. Right, so... So let's set up in a way to deal with those reinforcements first. Then we'll move forward. Now the turrets can overwatch. You can overwatch. You can overwatch. Those turrets, man. They're the MVP. MC Gamer Dude! Okay! Welcome aboard! Welcome to the party! Heading out! Hey, you might get a kill next turn! I'd like to give kills to those rookies. Scanning! But I'm not gonna use a kill zone, I'm just gonna overwatch with the zero. Visionals. Let's see what they drop. Uh, I'm kinda scared. It might be like a bunch of heavy mechs. Which is not too bad. Okay, it's just <laughs> randos. Okay, these, these two of them? Man, this is a joke. We can definitely deal with that. Hey, Baby J, how are you? This is the UFO defense mission. I, I screwed up. <laughs> I screwed up and I went where there was a UFO and now, now we have to defend ourselves. But uh, we're doing pretty well. To be honest. To be honest, right now, things are going quite well. There you go, Kaylee. Adjusting sights. All right. And they're gonna have more reinforcement next turns. Okay, but that's that's all right. Now, Socrates, how about you recloak? And you go tell us what's ahead. Anything interesting ahead? Because we saw enemies around there. Like, we definitely, definitely, definitely saw enemies around there. So why don't you move just a tiny bit more forward. 
Because we need... We need to start getting out there. Don't. So Baby J can double move and overwatch. He's got the ever vigilant. So we're going to make use of that ability right now because we need to take care of these guys as they land, if at all possible. So Baby J move to around right here. Getting it done. With that double move. Very nice. And he's going to be ever vigilant. Um, Kaylee is also one of our ever vigilant crew, so she could move to here and be ever vigilant. Very good. Who else do? Don't we have Eldriel as well? Where's Eldriel? Eldriel, are you ever vigilant? You are not ever vigilant. Okay. So in that case, we're gonna just make a single move. To somewhere around maybe right here. And not reveal anything. Good. Okay. Things are going alright. So Eldriel can move to here. No problem, boss. We're gonna stay out in the open, but that's okay because we're gonna get a ton of overwatches as soon as they drop down. On the move. MC Gamer Dude with the two grenades, those are going to be actually really useful. And uh, Stephen Horn, get over here. On my way. <laughs> Sorry, these these are some people. I don't always get these people out. I get them confused with each other. Okay, so the Zero can just Overwatch from back here, and everyone will Overwatch. Even the, especially the heavy turrets. And as soon as they land, I wish we could shoot at the, the at their ship. I wish you could just rocket the ship as it's coming in. That would be awesome. Okay, just two of them. Again. But they're gonna keep dropping in those reinforcements, and those are gonna be annoying. Okay, for the husband. Hi, Advance. Um, say hello to all the Overwatches in the world. I'm not sure if it's all of them, but it's close to all of them. Oh my God! This is a this is a freaking shooting gallery down here. Oh wow! Did they really survive that? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. Are they gonna get more reinforcement next turn? Probably. Commander, I'm sending reinforcements. No, we're getting reinforcements. And they are getting reinforcements on the right. Okay. Menace one five. Be advised. Who's this? Hostile reinforcements inbound on your position. Oh, uh, Rob Kelly. Uh, I don't want Rob Kelly. He's he's just a a guy with uh, he's not a guy with a name. All right. Well, we're gonna set an Overwatch. For these guys, we're Rub Kelly. He's got, he's got ever vigilant. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, so now what we really, actually, only need to do is get some freaking eyes on that thing. As soon as we get eyes on that thing, yeah. Right. We have visual confirmation. So what we can do with this beautiful visual confirmation is used... Oh man, does your does not have a shot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was my whole plan! <laughs> Crap. Okay, where where can we get a shot? We could probably get a shot from here with the zero. Apparently not. What the hell is blocking sight? There's nothing blocking our side. Okay, the zero move to here. You're, you're the way I want to kill that thing. Will the zero have a shot next turn? He will, okay. All right. So, we don't need to push. I know there's some guys around here. I'm not really interested in dealing with them. I'm actually really not interested. It's. I know it's weird, but I would much rather just okay. kill the reinforcement, shoot that thing at long range, and then get the hell out. 
So this is exactly what we're going to plan to do. Okay. Kaylee. Okay. Um Baby J. Baby J can double move, so might as well double move. Already there. What oh, we got? Stephen Horn. Right Good. here. Okay, okay, so we're just gonna set a big, giant, crazy overwatch trap with everything we've got. As long as we take care of the reinforcements, we're fine. That thing is gonna drop in, we're gonna shoot them all up. I think they got a, is that a shield there and... They got a heavy mech this time. Okay, so slightly more firepower, but still, that Overwatch might be good enough. Okay. Oh my god, this is, this is like a freaking shooting gallery, this is insane. Right. Okay, so now we need to deal with that. But... Okay, next reinforcements are gonna be over there. Okay, the Zero, start working the thing. It's gonna take two turns, apparently. Or not. Is that enough to just kill it? It's almost dead. Okay. Well, I want to kill that thing. That's for sure. Let's start shredding its armor. Bombs away! Okay, good. Let's do some damage to it with one of the turrets. Very good. And now let's try to feed one of our rookies a kill. Where's MC Gamer Dude? MC Gamer Dude? Where are you? Hey, MC Gamer Dude. How would you like to get to bag this heavy mech? Welcome! Uh, I screwed up! We're defending ourselves from, uh... Weapons burning ammo fast. Yeah. I, I, that was, that was my bad. Okay. Uh, Baby J needs to reload. I'm ready. Now, let's get everyone we can into a good position to intercept, uh, this reinforcement. I can handle that. As much as possible. All right, Baby J, you're sadly, um, I don't think you're gonna get an Overwatch this turn. Let's just move you. All right, I'll go. We need one more turn to destroy the, the beacon. Kaylee's out of ammo as well. Okay. Uh, Jacket Panda V2, you can move to right here and get a really nice Overwatch. Movimiento. Okay. I mean, those reinforcements are gonna get worse and worse. I'm, I'm, I, I know. I know they're gonna get worse and worse. And we need to start, you know, really thinking about getting out of there. But right now, we're doing all right. You might be flank, however by these guys, but I need you to keep eyes on this tower. But you can always... no, let's let's stay there. Alright, we got another reinforcement incoming. <laughs> that 
that's just a bunch of, uh, of four little guys. Those should be pretty... That nice armor, though. I like the, the texture on the armor. It looks really good. Like, look at that. Alright, we're getting some overwatches. Let's see what we can get. That's a miss. That's it. Okay, that's not the best. Sending reinforcements in from okay. the Avengers reserves. So that's all right. Yeah, they're gonna get reinforcements, but at this point, the Zero can destroy the thing. Straight up. Could we? Okay, let's let's wait up. Oh no. Okay, no. Let's just let's turn on cereal. Let's see if that would work. If we shoot that thing with cereal, do we get? Does that count as a kill? Tell me that counts as a kill, please. That was a kill, right? Target destroyed. Excellent work, Menace One Five. That was a kill, please. Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Please, guys. Cereal. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Cereal? Commander, we can take off on Aww. your own. We should get the squad on board. It didn't count as cereal. Okay, so we need to fall back, but we can't let these guys murder us. Right? So, let's fall back slowly. What's this? Lift off Avenger. No, 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 don't lift off the Avenger just yet. Okay, so here's what we can do. Socrates, start falling back to here. You're still hidden. That's quite nice. You do have the shredder gun, so we can blow up these guys' cover a little bit. Let's blow up these guys' cover. Because their their cover is gonna be harder to deal with. They're in the heavy cover. No, actually only one of them is in heavy cover. Well, let's start with this. <laughs> this guy's just dead. Straight up. Ah, oh, that didn't break his cover? That does not make me happy. Okay. Firebug here can start moving. Uh, we do have a big uh, reinforcement batch incoming here, right? Right, I need to kill these guys because if they're not dead, these guys can actually shoot us. These guys over there, they can't shoot us until another turn. So, let's acid bomb these guys. Here, catch! Okay, they're dead. Alright. We need to fall back with everything we can. We just need to get the hell out of here. We need to get into the Avenger. Okay. So, Kaylee. But there's no point in leaving this position because we have some people still out here. So. And we want to defend them. But we want to move back a little bit at least. Moving back. We have the turrets. The Zero can't move this turn. Baby J is just gonna overwatch from here. On overwatch. Jacket Panda V2 is gonna overwatch. Here. The turrets are definitely gonna overwatch. Stephen Horn is gonna move to here in and there, overwatch. On overwatch. MC Gamer Dude can overwatch. overwatch. Uh, Kelly can move a Moving bit forward position. in overwatch. It's more likely that we'll hit them from here. Uh, Archie! Oh, that's another no-name, huh? Well, you get over here and you overwatch. And Kaylee... Actually, Kaylee double move a bit back. And set that overwatch over here. Alright. What do we got? We're getting out of here. Alright, more just standard grunts. I am fine with that. These are pretty easy to deal with. 
That's a lot of misses. That's a lot of misses. That's a lot of misses. That's all the misses in the world. That is not good. Wow, really? Oh, okay, at least that. Yeah, that was a lot of misses. They're still going. My god, these guys are unhittable, apparently. Oh, okay, we got one of them. Hostile neutralized. My god. The cavalry debarque. My god, okay. Alright, we need to retreat. Okay. You can't make it in one turn, sadly. Alright, in that case, we're gonna definitely use the zero here. Um, to kill at least one of them. Lighten the load. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Eldrill! <laughs> Almost hit you there. The zero's got a bit of a habit of, uh... <laughs> of the, those whoopsies. Um, okay, now this guy is annoying. Who can see him? Where is he? Where is he taking cover? Don't have any ammo. I need to bring these guys back. I also need to shoot... Need to shoot that dude. Okay. 70%. Nine damage. Okay. Need to make sure I can shoot at this guy. How many... How many hit points does he have left? Does he have six hit points left? Can we just uh, combat protocol him? Let's just combat protocol him. Let's bring back our people that are in the front to a position where they can retreat next turn. I'm trying to retreat, but I don't want to leave anyone who can shoot at us while we're retreating. That's my plan right now. They're, they're, we're retreating, but no one's shooting at us. I know it, it may seem a bit weird that I'm doing it this way, but this way I guarantee... Right, okay, sorry about that. Alright, so basically what I'm doing here, I know a lot of you guys are like, what are you doing? Get out of here! I understand what you're saying. But there's no point in me getting these guys out. I'm getting everyone out. So there's no point in getting these guys out if these guys here can't get out. And I'm killing the people to make sure that they can't shoot us in the back at all. I feel that's the safest way to do this. And I might be wrong, but this is how I feel about it. And this is the tactics I'm going to keep employing. Locked and loaded. Overwatch. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ready to go. Moving to Overwatch. Yes, so... If we can get these two guys out next turn, everyone's getting out next turn. We're all getting out at the same time. There's not gonna be any one left behind or anything. That's the plan. We're getting back slowly, but methodically. Like, no no one left behind, no one dies, nothing. These guys might overwatch, though. Uh, which is gonna complicate our plan. But, it's not the end of the world. Whoa, four? Yeah, one of them overwatched. God. Man, guys, what's 
what's up with the overwatches? They were so good at the beginning. That is not good. Oh my god, those overwatches! Neutralized. Okay, they're all overwatching. <sighs> you guys are gonna really hate me. Okay, we can get out of here if we can deal with those three overwatches. But we won't get out of here this turn. We're getting out next turns, guys. We're gonna start with a capacitor discharge. Why does it not hit the third guy? Please hit the third guy. It didn't hurt the third guy. What the hell? That's the opposite of good. Okay, I need to remove this overwatch. Okay. Overwatch removed. Okay, that's fine. That, that is completely fine. Kaylee, start moving back. And then we capacitor this charge again. No, this guy can't be hit by capacitor discharge for some absolutely unknown reason. That makes me really unhappy right now. Why? What's going on? This guy is untargetable. Okay. Okay, guy. Uh, that's that's real nice. Right, we're gonna make it, guys. I know it looks bad, but it's fine. It's really fine. I swear. I just can't run away if there's freaking. Overwatches. There. Now we got him. We got them. Okay, perfect. Now what we want to do is get as many people in the zone right now and get those people to overwatch, hopefully killing all these guys and getting another shot next turn so we can move the people who are not in the zone into the zone. This is part of the zone. Can handle that. LG will get into the zone and reload. Okay, good. So you can shoot from here next turn and we can get out. The zero is also out of ammo. Wow. Okay, super bad. Okay, the zero, you're going to be quite useless, but uh, get in here. Okay, who else? Okay, we have the turrets. Who else gets to move? Turrets are just going to overwatch. Can anyone make it into the zone? You can make it in the zone. Kelly, do it. Uh, MC Gamer Dude, you can do make it in the zone. Do it. Moving to designated coordinates. Good. Um, Stephen Horn and... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Heading to that location. Okay. Right, we got this, guys. Got it covered. We should be able to get out next turn. I'm on it. Moving to Overwatch. Aim for the other. We should be able to get out next turn. Oh, wow. 
Oh, please don't overwatch us. They're probably Arga. That's some heavy uh, reinforcements they're sending in. Yeah, they're gonna overwatch. Okay. But that's okay. We set up some people to deal with that. Those turrets. Those turrets are awesome. I'm so glad I invested in them. My God, guys! This, this thing is gigantic. turret for doing the job my soldiers can't okay we got two overwatches so what we need is just an explosive right now if we can get an explosive at them okay we have more reinforcements but we shouldn't be here at the end of this turn so there we go look at that EMP bomb they can't overwatch us if we EMP bomb them there we go now everyone's out. Alright. Oh, and you got Salvo. I forgot about that. Okay, everybody. Everybody, we're getting out. We're getting out of here. It's been way too long. I have messed around. Position confirmed. For too long. Everybody out. Everybody out. What's over there? Everyone. Get in. Get in the thing. Okay. Woo, okay, we're we're in, we're in, guys. Now, can we kill those things? Anybody's got uh, any eyes on them? No. No eyes. Okay. Well, we're getting out. Zero soldier remaining. Let's get out of here. Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives All right. to fight another day. <laughs> that was a, a slight delay, Excellent a slight work, mistake, Commander. but we Looks did like it flawlessly. And day. we killed 34 enemies. <laughs> there was some more we could have killed, but let's... You know, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that result. Uh... Uh, we got out, Sea Monkey. We did it. We <laughs> we cleared it. We didn't take any damage. The the advent was really pissed at us at the end. They were sending three heavy mech and a heavy lancer, um, or elite lancer. I don't know what it's called. Uh, per reinforcement, they were sending one of those per turn, and I was taking my sweet time to get out of there. But I did it in a way that no one got hurt, and that's the most important thing to me. Whew. I wish we could get a sectopod on our side. After a mission like that, spirits are going to be high around here. We might have to resupply the <laughs> That's okay, we did good. Let's give out, like, we're going to have a million promotion. Ooh. A rupture shot deals critical damage and ensure that the target takes an additional three damage from all the target in the future. That's a pretty cool ability. And I'm gonna... Oh my god, okay, you're gonna get a restoration. I love capacitor discharge, but we need one person with restoration, so... You're gonna get a restoration, so we can try it out. And... Man, my god, Baby J! That armor with those pecs... Looks... Looks like you have cleavage here. Holy crap, okay. Um... Oh, we only got Codex brains. Oh well. Alright, let's go... Let's go give out the promotions. There was a lot of people who it was their first time out there. Um, only one? Oh, I thought we would have gotten like two or three. Well, it's a promotion in Stephen Horn, which is actually really good because then we can give him Phantom. And he goes from being someone we have to babysit to someone we can actually be useful. So that was pretty good for Stephen Horn. I'm amazed that uh, MC Gamer Dude didn't get any promotions. I guess he only got two kill. Okay, okay. Alright. Well, 
And we still have one day until Goo Sense is back from his wound. And once that's done... Once that's done, that, that dark event needs to go now. It's gone, right? Bye bye. You're not hunting us. Are they still hunting us? But anyway, once Goose Sense is back, we're definitely gonna go do the um, this mission right here. Alright, well, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and sharing it with your friend. That helps me a lot. If you want to be part of the crew, if you just want to chat with me or anything, you can send me a message, leave a comment, or come chat with me live on Twitch. I'm really happy to interact with you guys. If you want to see more of my video, there's a link below to my YouTube page, or if you're already on YouTube, there's a link in the description to my Twitch page if you want to see me live. But until next time, bye-bye. <laughs>